Hello, back by popular demand. I'm going to be touching on a video that was uh, requested in a previous one on showing comparisons between groups within a grouped box plot. So this is what we're going to get to today, and hopefully it helps clarify or move you forward with your own research. So again, we're using the ggplot package. Always want to clean the global environment before we load the data. I'm looking at uh, various accessions of a plant. So they're from four different locations and we had two fertilizer treatments with and without fertilizer, which will create our grouped treatments or a grouped box plots, excuse me. So just to kind of show the progression, at first we're gonna form our grouped box plot, GG plot. The data is uh, dr called dry. We're looking at accession on the X axis average dry weight on the y-axis, and we're filling the color based on the treatment. We're using a box plot with a similar aesthetic. We're using scale color Veritas as a colorblind friendly package. And to get rid of the grid lines, we're using theme classic. So here we are, Afghan, because this is from Afghanistan, China, India, and then the uh, wild type Veritas uh, plant. All right, now we want to add the ANOVA. So we're going to be comparing uh, fertilized to unfertilized within the same accession. And you're going to see that pop up above each grouped um, comparison. So same GG plot, except at the very end here, note we're using stack compare means, and the method is an ANOVA. All right. We could adjust that vertically. So this uh, second one isn't so much covering this error bar, but here you have your ANOVAs with p-values for each individual accession. As we can see, and interestingly enough, there aren't any significant differences between uh, the treatments within each accession individually. The uh, bar plot shows potentially why it's also because we only sampled three plants during the study. So it's kind of hard to explain that uh, significance with so few samples. Now, it took me a bit to wrap my head around this and figure out the best way to show it to you on how to then add our uh, comparisons between accessions. And one thing to note is that ggplot, if you, if you watch Shrek, you know, GG plots kind of like an onion. Layers. No! Layers! Onions have layers. It has layers. And by using those layers, we're able to uh, add the next step on top of our ANOVA, and therefore we can create our comparisons. So in my previous video, I made a My Comparisons list and listed the paired comparisons I wanted to make using a T-test or a Kruskal-Wallis test that we looked at in the last video. So my comparisons, the list, in this case, we're looking at Afghanistan comparing it to China, Afghanistan comparing it to India, and then to Veritas. You can make other comparisons, so China to India, China to Veritas, and so on, but we're just gonna keep it simple as to not bog down the uh, the plot itself. So finally, we have the GG plot, theme classic, all the way down, stack compare means, method ANOVA. And I move that label up to 750. You will see why momentarily. And then I added another stack compare means. And this is what I meant by GG plot. It's like an onion with layers. You add another layer of the compared means. And this time we're saying we want to use my comparisons with a t-test. So we're going to have the ANOVA and then we're going to have the paired comparisons showed um, that we have inputted through my comparisons list. So this is what it's going to look like. It's not the prettiest figure and it's not looking at individual uh, box plots to other individual ones. It's looking at the group of Afghanistan to the group of China. Um, for both non-fertilized and fertilized treatments. So with that kind of in mind, I would say it would be important to uh, show these pairwise comparisons if that's what you're looking to do. And if you also want to have an ANOVA, 
perhaps consider adding it as a table or having the table on the side to explain those uh, comparisons between treatments within the same uh, sample set. So by doing that, for clean figures, maybe best to simply create an ANOVA of a table to exhibit statistical comparisons. We're doing an ANOVA with a linear model, LM, average dry weight by accession. This is always done with the y-axis first by the x-axis. And then we're looking at the interaction between accession and treatment just to make sure that um, the treatment and accessions combined aren't showing a, stick to, a statistical difference, excuse me. And again, from the dry data. So running that, we can see that there's no significant difference between accessions, just independently, but with the treatment, so fertilized to unfertilized, there is significance found. So there you have it. That is a GG plot with an ANOVA and pairwise comparisons in it. Um, I hope that answered the request and the questions. Let me know below if this isn't quite what you were looking for or how I could maybe add another step to it in the future. All right. Thank you.